Imagine what it would be like working for Donald Trump. I mean, I don't think you can ever get it right. And so that's the great challenge. I mean, I don't believe that the Fed is biased around what the president might want, but there is so much noise around what is needed and therefore, yeah. you know, 50 basis points versus 25 basis points. I understand that the, the, um, the desire of the central banks is to bear part of the burden and I think they want to be coordinated and I think part of that 50 basis points was in terms of the relative number compared to the rest of the world. So I think everyone else was going lower. You're coming from a higher base, so you probably go that 50 basis points. I understand the strategy. I do make the point that Mr Powell is very balanced around the fact that it won't impact a virus. It won't solve for that problem. What they're trying to do, and which is what originally happened in the debt markets when it first kicked off, was people try to get cash around them. So I think they're trying to stimulate around liquidity uh, the great challenge right now is who wants the liquidity on offer and I think a lot of people don't necessarily want the money. It's not like a lower rate will get you onto a cruise. I don't think it creates that stimulus no, and so everyone is talking okay. about absolute numbers are low but what am I going to do with it? Well Jay Powell almost admitted that when he gave his press conference yesterday that they are limited in what they can do for the virus alone. Mm. They do want to help the market so and I'm curious for your view as an investor. I mean given we've seen these U.S. Treasury yields at record lows. What do you do in this market, Mark? So I think everyone would used to talk about the fact we had so much in negative bond yields. So negative yields globally was such a huge number. Well, get ready. It'll go worse. It'll be more of it. And I think if you imagine there's two things that will, with all confidence, I think we can admit. One is that rates will not be going high anytime soon and rates will definitely be going lower. So I would imagine that you assume, you, you put aside for one second that there might be negative yields, but you assume that the rates will be going lower from wherever they are. So wherever your currency of choice is, I think you'll imagine that a lot of people will be going into a lot of sovereigns just for that safe haven, in part because they don't really understand what the solution starts to look like. There's not a narrative that says fiscally they will all get together. I mean, I think we're still much more isolationist in our fiscal approach. So I don't know that you'll say that that country, South Korea, will do better than another country. So I think everyone will go long duration, whereas three months ago it might have been be short duration because you'll get some opportunities in equity markets. I think right now they'll all be saying go longer duration because rates yeah. will be going lower at some point in time. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.